What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I wanted to finally talk about the WizKids Idols of the Realms 2D acrylic miniatures. If you recall a while back, I had done these. These had come out around the time I want to say a little before um, Rime of the Frost Maiden was a thing, and I had reviewed these, and unfortunately, there was a lot of issues, specifically with the way the like protective coating was put on these. If you watch that video, you'll see as I'm taking these things out of the wrapper and peeling the cover off, it actually took the taint, the paint right off of the minis. So you would actually ruin them just by trying to use them right out the gate. So I'm going to head and rip this open here. This is just a cardboard sort of blister back and try to get into the minis on the inside. Pop them out and then we can just slide these out. This particular set, these are all Wild Beyond the Witchlight. I should say there is set one and two. Set two here has 16 2D acrylic minis. It shows you all of them on the back. And what you basically get is your front piece here with your individual minis. Uh, again, they have the plastic wrap on them, so we're gonna see if that issue has been fixed. And then mostly this is the base, but there are some small minis here as well. And then it has pretty simple assembly instructions from the back of the acrylic sheet, push miniatures and bases through the protective film out of the acrylic sheet. Tip, miniatures may be placed back into the acrylic sheet for storage. Step two, peel protective film from the front of miniature and bases. Step three, match the symbol on a mini to a base with the same symbol and carefully insert mini into the non-printed side of the base. Caution, do not force miniature into the base during assembly. To ensure a snug fit, our bases are designed to allow the minis to be inserted from only one side. If you encounter resistance, flip over base and try again. So there does seem like it's not as easy as you could think. So we do have a green dragon mini here. So let's see, from the back of the acrylic, which we can see because we have fronts and back, so I'm going to assume this is the back, push the miniature and bases through the protective film. Okay, the film is actually interesting. So I pushed it through the protective. Okay, the trick is, does it mean push through the film? Because the film is kind of on this side, like push through it, or push the miniature through the film. It seems like I meant from the back. So we did that. And now we have popped out our little mini here. And I don't see... All right, and then it says P, uh, the mini and the base. So it says these have a little symbol on the bottom. I don't see a symbol on the bottom of this. Okay. Now some of these have like stars and other things on them. Um, yeah, I don't see. It says match the symbol on a mini to the base. But, I mean, here, let me bring this in real, real close and give you a taste of what this looks like. Here is the mini, right? Let's zoom it way in. Do you see that like little bit of black text at the bottom there? That's where the symbol is supposed to be. That I'm supposed to be able to somehow discern. God, that is very hard to read. I put something white behind it. I think it's a triangle. I don't know. Um... We're going to assume it's a triangle. We'll push out our base here. And it says, Peel the protective film from the front of the miniature and the base. So this must be the front. Let's go ahead and peel. Okay, no issues. Now, I can very clearly tell by feeling the back of this that it seems like the paint or the texture of the paint is on the back of the mini with part again if you can see it because it has a face so you can see front and back this is very clearly where the paint is which is why it tells you to push it through the protective film to pop it out and then only peel the film off the front because there is no film on the back that seems to be the way they got around the issue of having all of the protective peel that you're kind of just peeling off here let's see if i can get it this peel that was the issue, was ripping off the paint. So, okay, that was pretty easy. So we can go ahead and come back and take a look at our miniature here. So this particular mini that I happen to grab, because it's a dragon and dragons are cool, is 
cradle fall from Wild Beyond the Witchlight. So you can see here, there, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the back, but this, you can feel it if you touch it. That's actually where the texture of the paint is. But here you go, folks. These look pretty solid. Now, they do come in a variety of different sizes. Let's go ahead and pop out one of the bigger ones. This is... What is this one? This is Endolin Moongrave on Ornithopter. So we'll go ahead and... Yeah, this looks to be one of the, the hags there. So we'll go ahead and peel off that. And it looks like there's only one base that fits... But even still, I don't see a symbol. You guys see a symbol on the base anywhere? Because I don't. Now, it looks like there's only one miniature or one base that's big enough to fit that. And if you keep track of the instructions where it tells you to peel things off of the front face, that should make it relatively easy for you to determine what is the front and what is the back when you go to attach the bases. So it looks like I'm not really encountering resistance, so I should just be able to press this right into place, I believe. Okay, so here, we'll have to zoom ourselves way back out. And actually tilt ourselves up a little bit. Here is Andalyn Moongrave on the Ornithopter. So you can get a little bit of a scale comparison to see what we're working with here. But I gotta say, I'm a big fan of seeing these finally make their appearance. Now, it looks like, again, as of what I have here is just the Wild Beyond the Witch Light set, but if these do well enough, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them for a variety of different miniatures. It was a long time coming. A lot of folks I know had seen my original video and they said, hey, whatever happened to those? And I had reached out to WizKids on multiple occasions saying, hey, a lot of folks want to know whatever happened to the Idols of the Realm set, and nobody ever, re no one really got me an answer, and they basically said they went back uh, to the drawing board to figure out what they could do to fix it. I'm looking back to see my review was from a full year ago, uh, and that was with uh, a variety of different options there. And those were the ones that, again, happened to do all of the peeling uh, off and it looks like these came out about five or six months ago they started coming out with the varieties of this they looks like they did some monster packs as well um there was rhyme of the frost maiden ones again i had looked for the longest time it looks like they have done them for a variety it looks like they just came out with uh, a couple weeks ago uh boneyards set so the boneyard mini so it looks like they're going to be doing these for the variety of the different miniature lines that they have done so basically, it looks like going forward, your options will be, do you want to pick them up in unpainted form from Nulzers? Do you want to get them in pre-painted form from the Icons of the Realms in 2D options? Let's remove that piece. 2D options from the Idols of the Realms, or in some cases, in Sprued miniatures from things like uh, Frameworks. I figure we have the Jabberwock. That's the big one. We'll go ahead and pop it out. Remove it, and then for all the people out there, for the satisfaction of it, we'll go ahead and we will peel off the front here. There we go. So there is our Jabberwock. You can see in all its 2D glory. And again, in a similar fashion, here is the base. We'll just go ahead and pop that out. And then we'll go ahead and once again do our peel. If I can get it to catch the corner here. Then you just peel that. Go ahead and take it. Plot it right in the base. Click it in. No problem. Now you have a 2D Jabberwock that you can bring with you. And again, because the protective film, as it mentioned, is still here on these, we could go ahead and take our base off of our Jabberwock and then just put it right back into place. As long as you don't peel this off, you can use this to kind of stick your minis kind of right back where they were. We can do the same thing here with the Jabberwock. Go ahead and stick it right back into place in the sheet where we found it. 
And then as you can see with the stickiness, it's really in there. Oh, well, maybe not. So don't jostle it around too, too much. But either way, the biggest kind of benefit I see to the Idols of the Realm set is right here. I've got 12 minis in a variety of different sizes. And it takes up, what is that? Maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch thickness and that much space. Trying to carry around enough minis to do this, where you'd have to have a massive tackle box or something like this. You can grab these, just toss them in your bag. Also, again, you're looking at a fraction of the price uh, for what you'd be paying if you were to buy these minis individually. Plus, a lot of these, you can't even buy them specifically. You'd have to go into random blind boxes and hope for the best. The only way to guarantee that you'll get them is if you buy the very expensive kind of master set that gives you every single mini contained within it. But if we were to go ahead, it looks like they were launched towards the end of last year, but they are available now on Amazon. We can go ahead and take a look right here. Here is Monster Pack 1. This is about $15, and this one will get you however many minis are contained in this particular pack. Uh, one Banshee, one Carrion Crawler, one Centaur, three Will-O-The-Wisps, three Ghouls, two Harpies, one Manticore, one Mimic, three Needle Blights, and four Sturges. You can get all of that for the price of $15. There's also player character packs here, including horses, sidekick packs for using the sidekick rules from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. And then again, we have them for a variety of other options. So this is a nice other alternative to the folks who want to possibly get into more physical minis on the table rather than using a digital tabletop or just using random things that they have around the house like Skittles, a quarter, a bottle cap, an extra D12, things of that nature. This gets you a little step more in the realism. It's also nice that they do have the front and back, which is pretty cool. And on top of that, they're cheap and they take up almost no space. So let me know your thoughts. This was a long time coming, like I said, about a whole year from the original launch that didn't go over so well before they re-released them into something that obviously has seemed to have fixed the main issue uh, regarding the plastic pulling the paint off of the minis entirely. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'll have Amazon affiliate links to whatever I can find down in the description. I will see you all next time.